Hello, I'm Julia Bidgood, and I'm here today to inform everyone of a terrible disease that is sweeping the nation. Every day, more and more girls are catching the ratchet disease. To catch the ratchet disease can lead to many negative side effects. These side effects include chronic midriff, STDs, excessive hair grease, fried hair, extreme case of black eye makeup, vulgar and aggressive language, an inappropriate colored face similar to jaundice. I'm Haley Simmerich with some statistics on ratchets. You may be surprised to know that two out of three girls who peak in middle school become ratchet by the end of their freshman year. This disease is becoming increasingly dangerous. 69% of teen girls are becoming ratchet and this number is increasing by 0.3% each and every day. The disease is infecting everyone. Hey, I'm Alex Pliska. We asked the students and faculty at Timberland High School a few questions about ratchets, just to see what they thought. The first question that we asked everybody was, what exactly they thought the term ratchet meant, considering it's a new term in everyday society and it's slang. So we wanted everybody's opinion. This is what some people said. Uh, it's like a little wrench and you use it to fix cars. Ratchet is someone who's really gross. Nasty ass hoe. Ratchet? Yeah. All right. Uh, kind of like, I don't know, nasty? I don't know. Rough on the edges? Oh, all right. Let's make some sense. A ratchet girl. Hmm. Kind of like all over all the guys in the school, you know, she gets around from one to the other. Kind of smells gross like she didn't shower like for a week ahead. That you're a whore. Whores. Skanky. Slutty. Ratchet. <laughs> I don't know, gross. It means dirty whore. But <laughs> like, sometimes when kids write up like bullying stuff or harassment claims that that word is used, so that's when I do it. Ratchet means that it is an individual who has particularly bad tastes in mostly everything. Um, I don't know. Um, a ratchet is definitely someone who like barely showers, has like ratchet os osiruses on their feet. And, like, they just wear like ratchet, like Hollister and Levy. Girl that Dirty. has sex with a lot of people. <laughs> ratchet is like like gross, like dirty, maybe possibly smelly, but at least looks dirty. Definitely looks dirty. Grimy girls. I would say that a ratchet is slang term for a female typically that dresses inappropriately. Ratchets, uh, a girl who looks kind of gross and uh, wears boy clothes, I guess, and acts like a boy. Uh, from my understanding, from my students, it's something undesirable or unsavory or Miley cyrus -y. Oh, hey! I didn't see you there! Next, we inquired what the students and faculty of Timberlane thought ratchets look like, including what they'd be wearing, their clothes, just their everyday appearance, and this is what they had to say. Skanky clothes. <laughs> like shoveled and, uh, I don't know, well dressed the occasion. I feel like a girl who wears like a yellow sweatshirt and um, some Uggs with like a skirt or something, like a pencil skirt. Raggy clothes, belly shirts. I don't know. Uh, they usually wear like the high cowboy boots to here, like. Always yoga pants, like a belly shirt only covering their breasts, nothing here. Huge belly button ring with the huge loop earrings, you know, it's just weird. Like, no clothes? <laughs> they have greasy hair and their clothes are all gross and they just look gross, like you can just tell. Um, hmm. Osiris's. <laughs> I would what describe a ratchet as person that looks like they have particularly bad tastes in everything ranging from clothing to music taste 
personality? Um, I don't know. I don't like this. Um, uh, bottom black eyeliner, like inch thick, with um, green eyeshadow and like green hair. <laughs> green hair. <laughs> um, with like ratchet piercings all over their faces. Uh, Leggings. Yeah, <laughs> skirts. Short shorts. Okay, a ratchet person would have like nasty hair and like possibly ripped clothing, definitely a couple stains on their clothing. They just like look really gross. Shirts, like short pants, like ripped tights and stuff. Uh, wears boy clothes, um, does boy things, and uh, kind of gross. Um, I would say just like unable to define art versus pornography. I don't know the difference, but I can tell you when I see one. Also, we asked, where can one find a ratchet? Here's what they had to say. Timberlane Hollows. Uh, you go down by the beach, probably tens, you know. I mean, typical place. God, any corner of school, any hallway. Um, Mr. O'Connell can tell you that. <laughs> he can help you out with that. Probably number one place would be Deb's at the mall. Timberlane. Yeah. <laughs> Ratchet people are everywhere, that's the problem. In our school. <laughs> I think that you can find them anywhere. I think that the term is very loose in the sense that it started in an area of, um, I'm going to say, you know, more poverty. And now you can find ratchets even at a school like Timberlane, where it's typically middle class people. So I think that really you can find a ratchet anywhere. Probably the Cumbies Trail or Bryant Woods walking on the side of the road. In the hallways? Hello again. Next we ask an infamous question. Do you think boys can be ratchet? Nah, only girls. Yeah, probably around like 15. And um, and probably wears like boxers with shorts over them with jeans over those. And um, probably a sweatshirt that's worn every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. It's a girl term. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you hiding from me? Another question we asked everybody was if they thought ratchets were born that way, or if they were breeded, or if it was their environment. Um, it can be both, but I think it's definitely an environment. Um, not really sure. They just kind of hit high school and you just turn ratchet and it's gross. It's their environment that makes them ratchet. It's their environment and like what they watch and what they like look up to. Found ya! The most interesting answers we found came from when we asked everybody on a scale of ratchet one being the least ratchet, ten being the most ratchet, where people would rate themselves. Like a negative five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'd say like ten. I'm probably an eleven, I'd say. I think I broke the barrier. Probably the most ratchet girl in school. One. Um. Hmm. I don't think I'm that ratchet. I'd give myself a two or a three. Um, I'd say I'm like probably a ten. I'm pretty ratchet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna say like a three. What? One. Uh, one. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'd probably put myself at a two today because my hair is kind of ratchet. Like one? I would like to think that I am very unratchet. <laughs> Me? Hey. A one? From my understanding of the definition, one. <laughs> hey, I'm Julia Bidgood. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it learned. Or no, after, after, after attacking Eric and you just... It means dirty whore. <laughs> 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 it means... <laughs> <laughs>